I'm from the state of Minnesota in the United States. Most of my childhood I grew up in a little town outside of the Twin Cities called Minnetonka. And actually one of the great features of Minnetonka that's very similar to the Tuck environment is community. So as an undergraduate, I studied at the University of Notre Dame. Um, I majored in economics there within a program called Philosophy, Politics, and Economics. And from there, then I went to graduate school at MIT and earned my PhD there in international economics. My new role as dean so far has been amazing. I've been both inspired and humbled by the excitement that is present in the Tuck community among our terrific students, the staff, my faculty colleagues, and the alumni community. The sense of how strong Tuck is in many ways and the desire to continue to have Tuck to reach in new directions and refine what we do to make it an even stronger institution in the future. The opportunity to serve the U.S. government on the Council of Economic Advisors really emphasized to me the value of ideas and practice. As an academic who'd done a lot of policy work looking at how U.S. government and other countries interact to shape how the global economy operates, to be involved in those conversations at the highest levels and shape those policy choices was immensely illuminating to me of the power of ideas brought into practice into the world. And I think bringing that then to the Tuck School in the many years since then um, has been a really important opportunity I look back on with gratitude. When you're teaching and you grasp that students have connected with an idea and they truly are understanding it for the first time, as a teacher it's one of the most rewarding things that we do. When we think about Tuck aspiring to create one of the highest quality educational experiences, central to that has always been and always will be an amazing faculty. The highest quality research scholars have the ability to deliver the highest quality learning experience. They have a set of critical thinking skills of questioning assumptions, of gathering data that are skills that are very rare in leadership and the highest caliber leaders have. When you look at leading global businesses, what they're really aspiring to create are leaders in their organizations who have the comfort and capability with working in diverse, dynamic, global environments. So one of the innovations at Tuck I'm really excited about is going forward, every candidate for the MBA degree at Tuck will have to take at least one Tuck created course somewhere around the world. So as wonderful as the learning environment is here on campus, we're extending our ability to deliver that amazing learning experiences around the world with amazing faculty and students. I think for prospective students, um, they should look at Tuck as an inviting community, a supportive community, yet a really challenging one that's going to allow students in and out of the classroom to discover capabilities they didn't know that they had and to be able to grow in a way that's going to further their professional careers and their lives for literally decades beyond their time on the Tuck campus. People are yearning for leaders that are inspiring, for business leaders who can do well in the narrow sense of how companies operate, but who do good in the world as well. I think there's a desire to have more business leaders who in direct and indirect ways create successful businesses, yes, but have those successful businesses contribute to broader senses of improving the world. That's what the world is really looking for, and that's what we create at the Tuck School.